Good day everybody, my name is Harold. I work for MeCat Manufacturing. As you can see in the corner, there's our telephone number, my email address, and our support team email address. Please let us know if you've got any questions or need any help regarding Mastercam. As you can see on this picture, today I want to speak about stock flip and the function of it. So let's move over to Mastercam. As you can see on my two path manager, operation one is already done. So I'm going to click on my machine, right click, groups, new two path group. I'm going to call this op number two. And I'm going to go to turning. And this is my part handling section for the lathe. I want to use stock flip. As you can see in these parameters, let's talk about them. Transfer geometry. I want to transfer this geometry. Why do I want to transfer? I need to go and select my part. I don't want to blank out any geometry. I want to copy this part on an offset level of 10, which means my level 1 is my main level. So this is going to end up being level 11. My original position is where it's now, it should never change. Transfer position is the total length of the part, but please remember, must be minus. Then the original position of my chuck is also where it's in now, this should never change. But my final position, I need to decide where I'm going to clamp with my chuck once this part has been flipped around. So I'm going to highlight this diameter value and select diameter of an arc, going to select this diameter of 64 and I need to place my chuck on this face against this face on this side. So I need to measure that distance. Going to highlight this block as well. Select distance between two points. And I want to measure the distance from this face to this face. And also please remember this has to be in the minus. Then I green check, fit this to the screen. As you can see, this is operation number one. This is operation number two. Only thing we need to do is to switch our level 11 to main level and the visibility for one off. When we look at the two part manager, we can see operation two. There's my stock flip. Only thing I need to do now is to face the part. Go to turning. Select face, going to use the same facing tool, enter my facing parameters for feeds and speed, going to use G96, my max spindle speed is perfect, I'm going to call this op number 2, facing, going to go to face parameters, all of my values looks perfect, and green check. As you can see the facing is done on that side. I'm going to switch off my levels and let's run through this two part manager and see how this part is going to be machined. As you can see, this is my raw material. This is my position of my chuck on operation one. There's my facing is done. My roughing is done and my finishing is done. There's my stock flip and there's the facing on operation number two, all done. Thank you very much. I hope you learned something. Again, please let us know if you need any help or any questions regarding Mastercam.